All right, guys. I had a uh, um, malfunction going on, but uh, okay. So we went through our update process. Uh, we done our library update, and you know after it was done, loading both of those bars. One was a folder, folder bar, and one was a file bar. Okay, once those were done, this is what pops up. The location data files on the SD card are the same version as the file located on the computer. Copy those files to the SD card. Me, I'm going to say no, because, you know, it's telling me that both of them are the same. So I go here. Click yes. Click yes, yes on all this stuff right here. Put the little check marks. And then hit update channels. And then it goes through. Skips and updates and all that good stuff. Okay. And done. And then you hit done. Okay. And see, and you can do stuff in here like you got general settings, and you know you can, you know, pretty much change settings through here, and and then you got some of your settings here, and then that's your scan list, okay, and then you could go to advanced settings, and there's your advanced settings, and then there's display options audio options like that and this is where you can control stuff I got told if you mess with this right here and you mess with this you know changing the numbers sometimes you can make your scanner uh, receive a lot better than what it is um, man, I just sometimes I just leave it the way it is uh, and then you know you got these right here which I don't know a whole lot about that uh, I mean I contact a whistler and I think they explained it to me once but you know I don't remember exactly what they said but anyways, uh, I'll, you know, because I don't want to say something about this and it be wrong. I don't want to give you wrong information. Uh, the trunking options, you know, the M36 status bit, and this is your encryption. So if you want to allow your scanner to pick up the encryption, you can hit allow. But it don't mean it's going to decode the encryption, but, you know, you'll hear all a bunch of stuff static noise and stuff um, and then button option for the skip button if you want it to skip or what you want it to do there you just go there battery option you can set up your charge hours and then right here it you know gives you more information on the battery And then you got your your scan list. You just click here on you know your uh, scan list, and then it pop up what's on that list. So if I go to Vigo P25, see it's going to load up the list for that uh, conversional frequencies. You know you can see I got some NXDN going on right here, and then a lot of narrow FM. And then radio trunking systems, it gives you the the whole list right here. And you can go right over here. And you can scan down to go through that list. Okay. If you want to set up the weather radio. Oh, we don't want to see me. We want to see this. But um, if you want to set up your weather radio, you got to go and click on the weather part right here. And then, you know, you can 
click what channel is the priority you know and then after you do that come down here and you type in the numbers for your county which you can go I think you can click there and it'll take you to the page that you need so you can get the numbers or you can just look up uh, weather weather radio configurations and I'm pretty sure to pull you pull it up that way for you which I already done that to mine so every six seconds it's looking for a, a code to come through to give me an alert and then you got your alert t tone and thrush oh I was trying to look through the phone and read it alert tone timeout seconds audio monitor duration I got the timeout set for 60 and I got this one set for 90 um, then if you click over here on library it gives you the library which like I said mine I just do everything through the radio if you click on audio you can click here get list click continue and then it starts loading file information and it pops up like this okay if you want to hear what it sounds like and I think it sounds pretty darn sweet coming out the TV when you push play I wish it would sound like this coming out the radio let me see if the volumes up and let you hear it you ain't gonna be able to hear that well, let me get some more volume here I'm gonna go over here to the stereo and kick it on uh, should be loud enough And then it gives you your information. It gives you talk group ID, radio ID if there's one being displayed. And yep, you can just sit here and you can click on this and like either Terre Haute Fire, you know, so if I want to listen to this one, click on it, go up here to the play. Engine 2, 1344, Tiger Square. 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 See, I got a radio ID on him. Yes, take it up. He doesn't have any doors locked. There's no key outside. We have already on our way. And that's exactly what it sounds like. To me, it sounds better than it does coming out the scanner. I just wish Scanner uh, Whistler would make the audio a little more, I don't know, a little more deeper, a little more maybe bassier. Um, let's see if I got a DMR. No, nope, I don't have no DMR recordings. But anyways, okay, that's it with the application. Okay, now what I was trying to show you. Okay, scanner off. Turn scanner on. And then it does the whole loading. And I've been doing a lot like I do a lot of moving for uh, my job. Sometimes my hands tend to get shaky. Okay, and then it comes on. And it says, you know, Whistler. And it's verifying the data. Just like that. Okay. And like I said, now we're back to where we were. 
you got scan, scan list, browse library, click over, preparing, and then bam, it's working. Uh, if you're in Canada, you click on Canada. If you're in the United States, you click on the United States, move over, working, please wait. Just select a letter for your state. I'm in Indiana, so I'm going to go to the eyes and then hit the select button again. And then I'm going to click on Indiana. You click on whatever state you're in. Uh, you got systems, which is like the statewide system. Uh, if you don't have that, and like you can hit the back arrow and it'll take you back to this uh, county and cities. You can click on that. Type in the beginning letter of your county, which I'm in Vigo. So I'm going to go to the V's, hit select, and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to click on Vigo. And then you can click on systems for Vigo County systems. And then here's all the systems. Okay. And then you just hit over and then you just hit select for what for the sites and the um talk groups that you want. Which I'm not gonna do it because my scanner is already programmed, so I don't want double copies of everything. Um That's pretty much it guys. That's all you do. After you do that, you know, you choose what you want. You know, you just hit import. Like, you know, say, say, you know, I already went through this. You know, I am I went over, I clicked on site and stuff. And, you know, if you want to choose what talk groups you're going to list to. If you want a certain tower, just move over. Like, you see how it shows the, the arrow there? Just move over. And you could choose what site you want. You don't have to have both. And if you want to choose certain talk groups, just click over, over. And then right here, each one of these is their own deal. And you just select whatever one you want to listen to. And then the rest of them won't go through. Okay, and say, say you're done. You went through this whole list. Okay. You just keep hitting this back button. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. And and then it'll go here. Scan list for chosen objects. Okay. You choose what scan list you want it. And then you hit this back arrow again. And then you'll start seeing it loading. It'll start loading up in the screen. Okay. Uh, start loading up in the screen and then when it's done loading up in the screen you know it it want you to hit like select so when it's done loading up in the screen you hit the select button and you'll get all your stuff that you wanted to program Okay, and then all you have to do after that, let's go here, letter scan, and then enjoy listening. Uh, you can make adjustments, you know, to it to make the audio more louder, uh, like you can turn the audio booster on which will make it come out a little more louder. So say if you got a talk group that, you know, it's not coming out very loud. You could turn the audio booster on and bring the audio up of that talk group. Or if all of them seem kind of low, you could turn the booster on on all of the talk groups and, you know, make your radio a little louder. I hope this video was, uh, helpful if it was please hit the like button uh, you know and if you also found it useful leave me a comment below let me know what you think you know
Do you think I did a good job? Do you think my video sucked? You know, let me know what you think. Uh, for something else you want to see, let me know. I know my videos ain't the best, but hey, what do you expect for a man with five kids? <laughs> but uh, I'm trying to help people as much as I can because I know these things are hard to program. And you guys have a good day.